Um, my name is Brittany and I'm from the United States. I grew up in California but went to school in the Seattle area. I completed my first degree at Sydney University, a Commerce Liberal Studies degree, which is basically a commerce degree but you do an Arts and Science minor. So I did my majors in Finance and International Business and my minors in Philosophy and Psychology. I had always wanted to study law and I thought originally I would study law in America and that was part of my reason for originally coming to Sydney from an undergraduate degree is I thought I would do my undergraduate overseas and come back to America for law school. Um, but uh, after four years of being in Sydney I kind of developed some roots and really just really liked it and connected to the, the country and the city and I thought I would stay here to do my law school, law studies and Sydney University is quite a reputable place to stay and do my law studies. And when the JD program was introduced, because of its international recognition, it convinced me even more to study here. I guess there's a variety of factors that really came into my decision. Um, having the JD was quite important. And although I know other universities have the JD program as well, um, I feel as Sydney as the oldest law school, there's opportunities you have at Sydney that I think other universities don't have. Um, for example, we have you know, uh, ex-judges who came to Sydney. We have connections to, I don't know, just we're right down the street from the Supreme Court and the District Court. We have you know, just world-class professors and the uh, mooting teams and so many opportunities. And the law program here is quite um, very well developed and very established here and it's a beautiful campus and it's very well internationally recognized. They have partners with Harvard and Oxford. And Definitely the staff and the students. Um, I find the students in the JD, it's, it's wonderfully refreshing. There's people in our degree, students in our degree, who come from medical backgrounds, pharmaceutical backgrounds, engineering, commerce, arts, this huge range of backgrounds and different nationalities and it really enriches the program uh, to such an extent where the discussions and the, the class environment is just really unique. I, I find in comparison to my undergraduate degree, it really attracts um, a group of people who are passionate and interested and it, it really makes for an enjoyable place to study. And the staff complement that equally as well. There's some very passionate staff here. Um, everywhere from you know, contracts lawyers who are, or contract professors who are, you know, out on the bar in the morning, they come and teach our class in the afternoon, to criminal, you know, professors who are you know, out defending during the day, and then they come to work for, you know, come to teach us. And it's just, there's so much depth to the teaching, and even, as far as you know, getting the practical knowledge, but as well as the academic enrichment, it's, it's quite enjoyable. Definitely the staff and the students is what makes it worth it. Yeah, um, because I had done my undergraduate degree, I knew what to expect in a lot of ways. So some of the shortfalls I was already familiar with, but I think some students uh, haven't, haven't, were not exposed to yet. You know, for example, like libraries and study areas, um, which I think is a huge shortfall um, I was already kind of exposed to. Um, but as far as expectations of what the JD could provide for me and the opportunities it could provide, it's definitely met my expectations. Um, I found sometimes in my undergraduate degree, being an international student, sometimes would give a little prejudice as far as employment and other opportunities. But I have found that um, the opportunities for the law students, it's really more gauged on um, sort of the, the potential of the applicants and the applicant itself rather than where they live, where they're from, or whether they're a permanent resident. I find that uh, there's, some, there's so many opportunities that we have, not even in Australia but overseas as well, that um, have, have really actually got above my expectations. Yeah, even, I mean, there's, yeah, there's been so many opportunities that I didn't even think were possible. I mean, even uh, last, last week, we had a dinner with Justice Kirby, with, with 10 JD students and Justice Kirby. 
And I think that's something not every law school can do, is go have dinner with a high court judge or an ex-high court judge. And you know, we have organized events to go to the Supreme Court on, on weekdays. And I think there's so many things that I've had, I've had work experience with barristers, and I'm only in my first year, and I think there's a lot of things that have definitely gone above expectations. Um, I love living in Sydney. Um, the social life definitely has something for everyone. It's um, whether you like, you know, small pubs and kind of the hipster sort of scene is here. If you like huge parties and going out every night, you definitely could. If you want to just have a quiet night and watch some good films or it's open to you if you like the outdoors, there's great beaches, there's fabulous weather. Um, it's just a great city to live in. I, I really enjoy it. It's part of yeah, my reason to continue staying in Sydney. Ideally, I would like to go into, into international humanitarian law. Um, how exactly I'm going to go on the path to that point, I'm not exactly sure. Um, and yeah, that goes to another reason why I chose Sydney, is they do have quite an emphasis on international law. And that was uh, hugely persuasive in me coming, selecting to come here, because that's ideally what I would like to get into, to international human rights law. And I may be working within the international criminal justice system.